I'm Sam Abel, and I am the author of a new book of photographs called The Life of a Photograph. And I'd like to talk about one photograph that's in the book. And the reason is my colleagues admire it more than any other picture that I ever took. And these are hard-to-please colleagues, photographers of National Geographic and Magnum, elite photographers in the world of photography. And this is the photograph of mine that they admire the most. And the reason is, it's the most complicated. It's hard to take a complex picture and hold all of the elements together. And when my friends look at this photograph, well, one of them said, Alex Webb said, this is what we're all trying to do. And what we're all trying to do is to create a layered, deep, complex, complicated photograph that doesn't look complex or complicated. Each element has its own space. Each drama plays out on its own terms. And yet, in this single photograph, there are three or four dramas. How do you take a picture like this? That's what this book is about. How to take complex, layered, deep photographs. This one starts at the back with the sky and the prairie and the clean horizon line. That was my first commitment. And my second commitment was to the cowboy with the scalpel in his mouth because this is a branding and castration. And so he's got the scalpel in his mouth and he's got the great hat and the great tattered jacket. And with him came the calf that he's working on and the other cowboy in the jean jacket. So that's one layer set against the background. And the second layer are the two cowboys coming in with another calf. And they're in the middle ground. And then in the background is a cowboy on a horse. And the key thing about that cowboy is his head and shoulders and the head of the horse are all above the horizon line. And you can pick that cowboy out cleanly and easily from the background because of that, because they rise above the horizon line. My last decision in making this picture was whether to include the red bucket or not, in or out. And it was an instantaneous decision to leave it in. That's how a picture is made. There's a commitment to the background, a commitment to the subject. And all of the drama, all of the narrative comes into play after you've made those commitments. That's how you take a photograph, and that's why a photograph has a life.